Flint, Michigan native Clarissa Shields is undoubtedly one of the biggest names in women's boxing and has scored some hugely impressive wins throughout her career so far. Going into this weekend's super fight with Savannah Marshall, her current record stands 12-0, which she will be eager to improve upon. Today, we're looking at some of Shields' greatest hits from her previous fights throughout her career so far, so stay where you are. Let's get straight into it then. We're talking Marie-Yves DeCare. Clarissa Shields' 11th professional fight saw her come up against fellow champion Canada's Marie-Yves DeCare in what was expected to be the Americans' toughest test to date. The March 2021 pay-per-view bout saw Shields' attempt to become an undisputed world champion in her second weight division, something no man had previously done in the four-belt era. Going into the bout, both fighters were undefeated, so someone's perfect record had to fall. Many claimed before the fight that it would be to cares, and they were right, with Shields' WBC and WBO light middleweight titles on the line, as well as the Canadians' IBF and WBA Super also up for grabs. The fight was also the first time the ring female light middleweight title would be fought over. And, for all this on the line, Shields was in no mood for niceties, unanimously outpointing her opponent on all scorecards 100-90. For those who aren't particularly up on how boxing is scored, this means that every judge at ringside decided that Shields had won every round in a dominant performance. The result improved her record to 11-0 and solidified her claim of being the greatest female boxer alive, although Katie Taylor might have something to say about that. What did you guys make of this performance? Next up, we're discussing her win against Nikki Adler. In just her fourth professional fight, Shields won the inaugural IBF super middleweight title as well as the WBC title. The Croatian-German Adler came into the fight undefeated with a perfect 16-0 record, but Shields was on a completely different level. She dominated from the first bell until the TKO stoppage, occasionally taking her foot off the gas to regroup. But it was clear for all to see from the off that Adler was in over her head. Clarissa put together some beautiful combinations, but questions were asked as to why her opponent simply stood within her range not throwing. This was evident in the second round, as Shields unlocked loaded on the blonde-haired fighter before offering much the same in the way of attack in the third and fourth, with Adler offering next to nothing. The fifth round couldn't come soon enough for the defending WBC super middleweight champ, and after being rocked by a left hook from Shields, the referee was seriously considering stopping the bout. Shields made it easy for him seconds later as she kept unloading, before the referee simply waved the fight off. Shields failed to knock her opponent down, rather wore her down with volume, and the fact that Adler wasn't throwing anything back made the referee's decision fairly straightforward. Clarissa moved to 4-0, and the way in which she dismantled the former champion announced her arrival on the world stage. What did you make of this one? The Hannah Gabriels fight is coming through next. Stay with us. This one is most impressive due to the heart Shields showed after being knocked down in the very first round. The fight was actually for the vacant WBA and inaugural IBF female middleweight titles, with Shields moving to 6-0 after bagging the win. However, she had to go through a spot of adversity early on as a very game Gabriels came out swinging. Thanks to the shock in the first round, Gabriels became the first fighter to ever knock Shields down. The Costa Rican was actually moving up in weight, so wasn't actually expected to cause Shields too many problems, but Clarissa was forced to take her seriously as she wobbled back to her corner after the first, and it was the wake-up call she needed. Clarissa went on to arguably dominate the rest of the fight, winning 98-91, 97-92, and 97-92 on the judges' scorecards. After the knockdown, Shields was forced to concentrate and bite down on her mouth guard, showing her superior class. As we mentioned, the heart it takes to get up off the canvas and go on to win a fight is one of the hardest things to do in boxing. But Shields proved she had what it took to be able to come from behind and win. What did you guys make of this fight? Give us your thoughts below. Next up, we're talking about Femke Hermans. Stay tuned. Clarissa took on Belgium's Femke Hermans in California back in December 2018 in her eighth professional fight, scoring her eighth professional win in the process. Having just won the vacant WBC middleweight title in the fight before against Hannah Rankin, Shields had three belts on the line, including her IBF and WBA titles. Herman had beaten Shields' former foe, Nikki Adler, earlier in 2018 to win the vacant WBO title, proving she was up against a top-quality fighter. But the fight actually turned out to be a bit of a mismatch, as Shields showed what she was all about. The two-time Olympic gold medalist made light work of the Belgian, with all judges again handing her every round. There was little to no fight out of Hermans, who simply had to take the punishment Shields was dishing out without being able to throw anything back. The fight could arguably have been called off, similar to how the Adler fight ended, but the referee obviously believed Hermans was showing some sort of competitive edge, even though many others didn't. Of course, she tried her best, but she was simply out of her league as Clarissa outlanded her by almost 100 strikes. Did you guys watch this one? Let us know what you thought. Emma Cozen is coming through now. Stick around. Shields' WBA, WBC, IBF, and the ring female middleweight titles were on the line in Cardiff earlier this year, as she took on the game, but ultimately mismatched Slovenian Emma Cozen. Her challenger's WBF title was also up for grabs, which Clarissa managed to bag with a classy performance. 
performance. The 10-round fight was the co-main event of the night, alongside Chris Eubank Jr. and Liam Williams, but Shields refused to be outgunned by the men. The American dictated the pace from the start and hurt her opponent with a big body shot in the third round, but the Slovenian bit down on her mouthpiece and got through the rest of the round. Clarissa wasn't to be disturbed and carried on working over Cousin. She seemed to have made a breakthrough in the fifth with some smart work, but again, Cozen survived the round. The rest of the fight played out in similar manner, with Shields pushing the pace and Cozen trying to get out of the way of her combinations. Like many other Shields fights, she was awarded every single round by each judge, proving yet again that there are very few women in the sport of boxing who can match her in the ring. The win moved her to 12-0 as she added yet another belt to her already hugely impressive collection. What did you guys make of the Emma Cozen bout? Give us your thoughts below. And finally, we're talking Christina Hammer. Unfortunately for Christina, she wasn't able to hammer Clarissa into oblivion as she was largely outboxed for the majority of their August 2018 fight. Shields' ninth professional fight played out in largely the same way as her previous fights did, although Hammer did start off well. She took the first round, similar to how Gabriel's did, but all that served to do was anger the quote. The judges scored the bout 98-92, giving Hammer another round, probably the sixth, but Shields was the clear winner. After the fight, she could be heard screaming, what's my name, as she sought to convince everyone she was the best female fighter on the planet. The fight meant that Shields retained her WBA, WBC, and IBF female middleweight titles, while also adding Hammer's WBO title, as well as the inaugural The Ring middleweight title. Hammer did her best to take the fight to Clarissa throughout, and was certainly no pushover, but Shields just had too much class for her. After the fight, the champ said, Women's boxing, we're on fire. I can't wait to see what's next for us, before going on to call out her former tormentor, Savannah Marshall. She gets that wish this Saturday. Who knows what will happen? Of course, Shields has had a fantastic career to date, but the Marshall fight this upcoming weekend signifies easily the most difficult bout of her career, and if she manages to come out on top, then her claims of being the quote will surely be justified. What's the best win of Shields' career, in your opinion? As usual, thanks for dropping in on us today, and remember to tune in again next time when we will be discussing loads of other fun bits and pieces. And why not do us a big favor by liking today's video while also sharing it with any boxing fans you might know of. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more great videos in the future. Bye, guys.